Have you ever wondered what Bengaluru's traffic looks like from above? Take a look. These visuals are from one of the 10 drones used by the Bengaluru Traffic Police to monitor traffic in the city. The drones are named Vanki, short for Visual Aerial Network for Knowledgeable Insight, and were first tested in June 2023 at Hebal and Marathali Junction. Uh, a CCT camera is fixed, right? So it is a fixed field of view. If I want to say monitor why traffic has stopped at a particular instance, I'll have to switch through each camera on that road probably. But if I have a drone flying, I know exactly if it is in the field of view, what has happened. We can zoom in if you want to. We get a bird's eye view. These drones are usually flown during peak hours twice a day in the morning and the evening at 10 police subdivisions. Each drone covers several junctions and key roads within its assigned area. What are the major junctions or major stretches that they cover? Yeah, so it's primarily the high density corridor. So we have 12 high density corridors. They cover high density corridors and the important junctions on those corridors. For example, the Bellary Bangalore Road, which is the airport road, is a high density corridor for us. So probably they concentrate on Hebbard, they concentrate on the Coffee Day Junction at Yalanka. And um, so the other road is the old Madras road. So they concentrate on Beniganali, NGF Junction, MM Temple. Um, so like that. So all these 12 high density corridors are concentrated. The drones travel a distance of 1.5 kilometers and can reach a maximum altitude of 120 meters. One drone is assigned to two police officers. After successful training, these officers are issued a drone pilot license. The drones are equipped with high-resolution cameras which can provide clear aerial visuals of vehicle movement, traffic snarls and accidents. The drone footage is live-streamed to the traffic management center of the BTP. What you see behind me is the massive video wall at the Traffic Management Centre on Infantry Road. This is also where footage, live footage, from the 10 drones as part of the Vanki system is displayed. And this helps the traffic police understand exactly how traffic flows across the city, especially on the major corridors. The drone visuals help the BTP to coordinate and deploy its manpower efficiently, which in turn helps to reduce traffic congestion. This drone footage is also used to train the traffic police's new AI program. AI algorithms are now being developed to calculate vehicle density, identify hazards and assess pedestrian behaviour. What we are trying to do now is that we are trying to correlate the map data that we have. So, to give an example, if you are using, uh, say, any map-based services, you'll find that red line or purple line, right? So, that's a representation of congestion. So, we have a lot of data with regard to uh, the congestion lengths. We are trying to map that to the drone footage now. So, the AI at the back end will automatically prompt towards going that side, fly that side and understand what is the thing. Because, say, we had a certain uh, volume of traffic to come, it's not coming, then at somewhere th there's obstruction to traffic, right? Mm -hmm. So we are trying to correlate those two and get it. It's, it's a long drawn process, I mean, I don't think it's been attempted. So but right now it detects what is wrong, uh, but where it is wrong, how long, that's the next step. A few months ago, Karnataka's Deputy Chief Minister and Minister in Charge of Bengaluru, DK Shivkumar, had declared that even God can't fix the city's traffic problems. But the BTP is betting on AI to ease the traffic woes in the city. They have already rolled out AI-powered adaptive signals. The average wait time has reduced by 22% at these signals. In the future, the hope is that the system will only get smarter. I think we are already there. I think we are in the forefront of adoption of technology, especially AI in traffic management. Um, 
one thing that helps us is we have a lot of startups here also who are working in this angle we have a lot of institutions uh, research institutions who are taking our data and giving us solutions as well uh, like one research institution is using our drone cameras itself to understand uh, how to like again better detect events or obstacles or something like that some are working on congestion data some are working on our cctv cameras to exactly understand and um, to see how traffic turning patterns are there so many things are there i think uh, i think like i said we are well placed to reap the benefits of that shortly do you think these drones will help solve these issues and unlock the gridlock that we see on bengaluru's roads each day share this video with someone who is tired of being stuck in traffic like and share for better reach and as always send us your suggestions in the comments below